Hey everybody, surprise video coming today. I wasn't planning on doing this one, except someone on Reddit found this image on the Apple website und under the education area. And inside there, they're talking about all the cool things they do for education. And coming down, we see this, this image of Logic Pro, what I'm assuming is 10.5. This has a bunch of new functionality in it. Looks like it's just pulling things over from the iOS version with all of the, the live loops. This is a really interesting discovery. It's not one that I fully expected, except it's one that I've been kind of dreading for a long time in some ways and super excited in other ways. This is what happened when Pages and Keynote were on two different platforms. Apple was developing the desktop version, and then they were developing the iOS version. And over time, the two became more and more alike. And now they're essentially the same program with only a couple key differences between the two. Well, now we have, or are going to have shortly, a lot more of the iOS version inside Logic Pro 10. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Uh, my instincts say that I love a lot of this stuff that we've had on the iPad for a while. A lot of the remix effects and all of the ability to run this kind of like an Ableton project. Yes, it is a lot like Ableton. In fact, Ableton was doing this before anybody else. And now it seems like Apple is going to add their particular brand of this into Logic Pro 10. Uh, so you can see it looks like it's broken into two different panes here. And it's hard to say exactly what this is looking like. I'm assuming if it's like iOS is that you have a project that's like this or a traditional logic project. But it looks like right here that these items are being performed and then they get recorded over into the right side. You can see some of the same names happening here. Now the thing about these loops are that it's not linear. You rarely just push play and it goes from left to right. You trigger these with the arrows at the bottom and it you create an entire performance based on that. And then that performance is either just performed or it's recorded into other tracks, which then you can take and work with. So what we're gonna do is keep our eyes peeled for the next week or two because it's about the time for a new update. It's the time of year when we typically go to the, the full upgrades and we're going to be looking for all of this and any other new things. I don't see too much else that's really different here. Any, I'm looking for clues on what else might be added. Obviously a new button here to show us this grid mode, the cell mode. We have a cell inspector over here along with the track inspector and yeah it's going to be really interesting to see what happens see what else is added here okay so i think what we're going to do in preparation for this is do a video uh maybe tomorrow where i show you how this all works inside GarageBand to give you a heads up for what to expect as we get it into logic and of course we'll do a full logic video uh, when the update is released. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get the first review. I, I really watch this stuff closely and do a review right away, try to get among the first so you can see what's happening and decide if it's worth it to explore or if you want to wait. Obviously, a lot of the bugs and things we won't know. But super cool leak. Exciting to know that Apple's heavy at work at this. Interesting to think about what happens the minute Logic Pro 10 works on your computer, laptop, or desktop, as well as the iPad Pro. So I don't think we're that many years away from it just being a program which works in all places. And that's good and bad. What do you think? Make some comments down below and let me know what you're thinking about this. Are you excited? Are you think it's stupid? What are you kind of uh, looking forward to the most? What do you hope would be released in this? And uh, what are you afraid will be? Okay, that's it for this. 
Look for another video tomorrow where we actually dive into how that functionality works.